Welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge one, aka the idiot Dave Coco from Wrestle AM, a podcast here on YouTube, Coco Sports. And I stream every day when I'm not absolutely insanely busy at twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports. Been to Togo Game Show, went to wrestling, went to baseball, went to hockey. I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot into my retirement. I'm absolutely having a great time. And yesterday, I did a review where I said, Yay! Pro Wrestling Noah's back on track. Even when we were going up and down, up and down, I was like, hey, we still have Nakajima. We still have Nakajima. We still have Nakajima. That's that. That's what it is. All right, so they tweeted this out earlier. A couple of the employees found out yesterday. Pro Wrestling Noah Global they tweeted out, Breaking Nakajima will terminate his contract with Pro Wrestling Noah at the end of September. <laughs> September was my day. Oh, my God. Oh. We'll have his last Noah matches October 20th in Corkin and October 28th in Fukuoka. Ah, uh, this is a rough one. This is an absolute rough one, man. Um, he's by far my favorite wrestler in Noah. Probably him, Will Ospreay, and Kenny are probably my favorite wrestlers. And I'd probably go with, yeah, this one hurts. This one hurts a lot. Um, Noah's been all over the place. Um, you know, the build up, the We Are No movement, the sweep, and then, you know, just up and down, up and down. The N1 comes around. We're like, hell yeah. And then after the N1, you know, we have a great event and now we lose. <clears throat> it might. I know Keno is the heart and soul of Noah, uh, but Nakajima was always my favorite. And I was kind of hoping, you know, praying to the Noah gods that A, Congo would return, <laughs> B, Keno would have his title run, and then you give it to Nakajima, and then you build up the. <sighs> I don't know, man. A as a fan, this one hurts. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where he's going. Um, I don't know, you know, some people, it's funny cause some, a lot of, uh, North American friends and English speaking friends hope that he's going to AEW and a lot of my Japanese friends think he's going to new Japan or all Japan. Um, some people say he might be a free agent. Um, I think the days of, cause like, here's the thing. In Japan, people are not loyal to the company. They're not like, oh, but pro wrestling, no, we're do or die. Oh, all New Japan, all Japan. Um, Dragon Gate fans are a little that way, but it's also a certain style that Dragon Gate does that no one else does. Um, they're very loyal to the actual athletes and great matches. Like, if it's Nakajima, Nakajima versus Keno, it doesn't matter what ring it's in, as long as we get to see those guys shine. And this one hurts. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Congo, Congo gone. The We Are No No movement shattered. We bounce back. It looks like we got something going. And then bam. We only got two more two more shows with Nakajima. Uh it's almost like if you don't believe in your athletes. Oh man. Know what it is? I'm an asshole. And sometimes you want to be proven wrong. Sometimes you rant and rave. I wish I could be the everything is awesome guy, but I'm not. You got to see the good, the bad, and ugly, especially if you were ever going to work in the wrestling business, you have to have a vision and standards. Um, if you are a reviewer, you can't just love one corporation. You can't just be like everything is awesome or everything is horrible. You got to see the good, the bad, and the ugly and everything. Um, that's what a fucking review is. It's not propaganda. It's not that. And, uh, it just sucks. It just sucks because I was like, why would anyone stay in Noah? Like you are the hottest thing in the world. I know English speakers think they needed new Japan. They didn't. They did not need new Japan one bit. Maybe behind the scenes and contracts or getting paid. Like, that's why so many fans and, you know, the employees say, no, the fans are wrong. 
But look at it from a fan's point of view. There's, you either are getting paid by New Japan or you're the dumbest fucking company ever. There's no goddamn in between. There is none. And if you're very pro New Japan and Noah, you most likely are an English speaker because people on this island, very few are loyal to a corporation. Um, but it, it just fucking sucks, man. It just fucking sucks. This one hit hard. I actually thought about recording this like two, three hours ago. And I was like, man, fuck. Because if you're on top of the world, we are no, we have a movement. And then you get swept by New Japan and you just keep losing and losing and losing. Why would you want to be in Congo? Why? If you're one of the greats, and I think Nakajima is one of the great, great, greatest pro wrestlers going today. I really believe that in my heart, especially if you like that style of pro wrestling. Why would you stay? Why? You know, one of my Japanese friends said it best. You didn't believe in this. You didn't believe in Noah. You didn't fucking believe in Nakajima. You didn't believe in Kongo. You didn't believe in Keno. You fuck. You don't even believe in Kiyomiya. It's just, when the fuck are you going to believe in your own goddamn brand as much as the fucking fans do? When? It's just... Man, you're, like, you're in a good mood. You're like, hell yeah, Noah's back on track. It's a win. And there goes a fucking hero. Uh, most people think he's going to be a free agent. I could see him moving to New Japan. Maybe a New Japan AEW crossover. I think he might get lost in the sauce. And I don't know many two people that can are strong enough and tough enough to hang with him in AEW. I'm just being honest. Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, he'd get lost in the sauce with WWE. It'd be, <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping WWE is better, but like we already got two Japanese wrestlers. Actually, Vince, you have more. Two is enough. <laughs> um, so I have no idea where he's going. I know I'm going to support him, root for him. Uh, you got Gleet coming up. You have All Japan, which they sold out Cork and Hall with him in the main event. Uh, possibly going to New Japan. Because... <sighs> Man, it just sucks. It sucks when you're right. It fucking sucks. This one hurts. This one hurts. Um, I guess it's Ken Owen Jake Lee's company. And it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Uh, I mean, yeah. Um, most, I, I'm guessing New Japan. Possibly all Japan. It, it would be a huge deal. Like New Japan, it would make it would be good, or good, better for Nakajima, but going to All Japan, it's like maybe that helped return the faithful. Um, but it should be interesting, and I don't know. My Japanese one Japanese friend said it best: if you believed in us as much as we believed in you, you wouldn't be in this spot. It just sucks, man. It fucking sucks. It, and I guess for those that want a sports sports thing, it's like having a championship team, but drafting rookies and passing up. It's not even drafting rookies because they're not handling the rookies very well at all. It's just, it's just dumb decision after dumb decision. Have you ever had a sports team that is absolutely fantastic and they just make dumb decision after dumb decision after dumb decision? We're the goddamn Toronto Maple Leafs. That's what we are. Pro Wrestling Noah is the Toronto Maple Leafs. We have the talent to be the best in the world. It just doesn't work out. So wherever Nakajima goes, I'm going to be super happy for. Um, this is a big loss. I think this might be Kenta Masawa. Like, we haven't had a loss in Noah at that level since then. It would be like, it would be like losing Tanahashi or Okada or Naito in their prime for New Japan, and being a be, being a pro wrestling Noah fan, we're just sadly used to it. <laughs> we're just fucking used to it. 
it reminds me of the Tampa Bay Rays. We're just fucking like, oh, wow, we didn't fucking renew someone? Wow. Ah, uh, it's just, that's worse than the Rays. Because at least the fucking Rays lose on the goddamn field. <laughs> you fucking, oh, man. Well, we got Keno. Fuck, dude. It reminds me of, uh, reminds me of Jay White. When everything was in place for Jay White to be the top guy. All right, Jake Lee, show me what you fucking got. Because there's nothing they're not going to give to you. So show us what you got. The whole fucking company is being built around you. So good or bad. Bad, this one fucking hurts. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me where you think he's going. I think most of my Japanese friends think free agent, all Japan, New Japan. I have a couple English speakers thinking AEW. Uh, I haven't heard many people say WWE, but who knows where the hell he's going? <laughs> who knows? Maybe he's just going to retire. Maybe just go off into the sunset. <sighs> Man. It reminds me of like the Buccaneers winning the Super Bowl and a team falls apart. <laughs> uh huh. We're the Florida Marlins. That's what we are. We're the fucking Florida Marlins. That's what we are. Uh, Nakajima's best bet for him would probably go to New Japan. Uh, best fit as far as helping another company would be All Japan. And who knows? Maybe maybe we see him in AEW. I doubt it. Um, if he is going to be in AEW, it might be a New Japan AEW crossover. But who knows? Because they, they already got so much talent there they already have so much talent and not many wrestlers can physically hang with him so it's like all right after he fights kenny after he fights the ace of ddt maybe moxley uh maybe brian danielson it goes downhill it goes downhill pretty quick as far as matchups go and who knows maybe my my biggest fear is if he goes to New Japan, they treat him like Shingo. Where it's like, maybe he'll get a title run and then just be forgotten about forever. Um, but yeah, I'm very interested to see where he goes. All right. <laughs> oh, this one hurt, boys. This one hurt. Uh, with that, I am over we're cool with sports and everything but you already knew that